Good morning, everyone. It's Janan. I'm in the workshop. I'm kind of kneeling down here because I actually want to film this showing the work table, but I didn't want you to not see a face. This lovely face. You have to look at it. Plus, look at these glasses. Isn't this lovely? But the project I'm going to do today is cutting glass. Just a simple technique that I use, and I wanted to show it to you. So I'm going to move this down to the work table, and we'll get started. Um, you'll still hear my voice as I'm talking, but you won't actually see me. Um, so here's what I've got. Plain piece of glass came from a picture frame but I want to actually put it into a smaller frame. So go to your hardware store and you can buy a glass cutter like this. It's probably under ten dollars. It may even be under five. I can't remember. I've had a couple of these for a long time. This one's my favorite. I also have this one it's pretty basic but I don't care for this one. Look for one that has a tiny little wheel and I hope you can see that on there. This is the type that I like to use. It's very easy to use. I'm going to cut this glass down. I want to put it into a smaller frame. Uh, sometimes you might want to cut down some picture frames, uh, larger frame glass, to put it into some smaller frames and then glue those frames together and make those cute little terrar terrarium houses for your garden and stuff. It's a great idea. But anyway, I'm just going to cut this down. So the first thing I did is I marked it. I want six inches, put my ruler around. I use an ink pen to actually write on my glass. It shows up better than a pencil and grease pencil would work too, but I want that fine line so an ink pen works well. Then I take my cutter and I take some three-in-one type oil. If you don't have that, you can actually use vegetable or olive oil. Any of that will work. <laughs> and just put one drop on your wheel. And I do this before I'm going to make my cuts to make sure that my wheels good and smooth rolling I will make a difference. I'm also on a work surface that I don't care about. This is just a piece of MDF because when I cut, I don't hopefully you can see this. As I cut, I'm actually going to roll off of my glass and that little wheel is pretty sharp and I'll put a mark in whatever surface you're working on. So don't work on uh, your good dining room table. I also like to use a metal ruler versus a wood because sometimes this will catch on the wood and you want just the smoothest cut as you can. Also, when I place it, and I hope you'll be able to see this, this wheel's in the center of this metal piece and it's about an eighth of an inch into the center. So when you place your ruler, if it, if perfect measurement's important, you'll want to make sure that your wheel is right there where, that, uh, where your mark is. The next thing I do is I make sure I've got my ruler down really well because you kind of only get one chance at this. Sometimes you can do it again, but usually, and I haven't done this in quite a while, so I'm not used to it. As you do it, you do get used to it. Put your wheel actually up onto the glass. You will take and put heavy pressure, pretty heavy pressure, and there's a sound that you're wanting to hear, and I don't know if the camera's going to pick that sound up. There, you might have got part of it. See, I went off my table and I've got a little ding there. Then what I do, after I put just a line through it, I take two um, finishing nails, just small ones, and I put them on each side underneath my glass. I leave a little bit sticking out. I'll leave that little head out. Put it right exactly on my cut line on each side. Kind of play around with this till you get it just the way you want it. This makes your glass into a tiny little teeter-totter. And you're going to teeter-totter back and forth. Well, actually you're not, but it will. You hold your glass down on one side, take this one, and just lightly press. You get a nice straight cut. Isn't that kind of cool? And when I'm cutting, I usually cut my large piece first. Now if I want to cut this down again, I will go and do my smaller piece. Anyway. Hey guys, <laughs> that's it. I enjoy cutting glasses. Don't forget to put on the, uh, enjoy cutting your glass. Don't forget the safety glasses. And everyone have a fantastic day. Thanks.